Hello everyone, Padawan Breaks here, and today I'm going to be talking about LEGO Con 2021, and if most, and if any of you have watched it, you probably already know this, but it was pretty disappointing. There were just, wasn't a lot of just cool things that happened, um, but yeah, without a further ado, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, for me, I wish LEGO Con I, I was expecting a lot better from Lego. They're just, for one, there was like not a lot of set reveals. There was like none, no set reveals. Um, maybe, I think there was like a little foosball table thing or something set. I don't really know, but yeah, there was for Star Wars was very disappointing. A lot of people were expecting to see the UCS Republic gunship, and that just didn't happen. Instead, we got more pictures of the 2021 um, Summer Star Wars sets. Eh. We already already saw those. Like, what? We already... Most people that... Anyone that actually cares about what the sets look like, probably I've already seen them. So, yeah. But we did get official pictures, so I'll make sure to show those at the end of the video. Um, and, yeah, I'll go into more detail in a separate video on those probably but I just feel like it was a very disappointing event there was no set reveals whatsoever um I hope that means we get pictures of the UCS Republic gunship soon that would be very nice um but yeah if they do do this again next year I hope we get more set reveals and just like more engaging stuff I feel like it was more like for a younger audience like Ocon. Um, and I just wasn't really vibing with it, and they just, they were trying to get so much out of, like, dots and video the whole time, and it was just really boring for someone like me, me that's mostly into Star Wars, and I didn't really, like, like, a few, the starting thing was kind of cool with, like, the A-Falls, um, showing, like, stuff they designed and other stuff like that, so that was a pretty cool thing, I thought, at least, but... Yeah, I just wasn't a very cool thing. And I would have liked to see more of, like, the LEGO YouTube community community on there. For, like, the A-Fall thing. That would have been cool. Um, Maybe not, like, controversial characters like M&R Productions. But, like, they could have got, like, Solid Brick Studios on there. That would have been cool. That probably would have made it a lot better for me. Just because I would have something to relate to. Um, But, yeah, I guess that's all for this video but before we go um let's take a look at those summer 2021 star wars set pictures so the first summer 2021 star wars set is the 75311 imperial armored marauder this has 478 pieces will be retailing for 39.99 usd or 49.99 canadian this set comes with grief karga who's new from season two the Mortar Trooper, which is an exclusive figure with a very nice looking pauldron, um, cool helmet, and a lot of people call him the Mustard Trooper, which I think is a very cool name. And then we get two regular Storm Troopers. The set looks pretty cool. Um, I just, the front, I don't know if you guys agree, but like, it's kind of more like rounded off in the show, and I feel like it's just kind of really blocky. But yeah, I think it's fine. It captures the vehicle very nicely. And yeah, that's the first set. I feel like it's pretty cool. So the next setup is the 75312 Boba Fett Starship for 593 pieces. Um, $70 Canadian, I believe $50 um, US. And it's Boba Fett's Starship. Uh, why is it not called the Slave One? Lego, can you explain that one? I feel like they named it Boba Fett Starship to make it like just feel like a different... Thing than the slave one from 2019 so that people that already have that set have like oh it's it's not the same thing that was the slave one this is boba fett starship it's a different thing but i feel like it's just a terrible name like what boba fett starship but anyway the build looks fine um uh, the boba fett figure is awesome get mando in it obviously he's the same as before um, and yeah, the wings can rotate. I found something weird, the control panel. 
um, like when the ship's flying, it's above his head, so you can only really use the control panel when the ship is landed, which doesn't make sense, but this set actually comes with a stand, which I feel like they should have done for the 2019 one, but that's besides the point. Um, yeah, it's like a little cart, and it's a very cool looking display stand. I'm really excited you get like a little Gamorrean guard carbonite piece, a few stickers, and yeah, overall, pretty nice set. Definitely going to be getting this one, even though I already have the 2019 one, but I need that Boba Fett figure. And finally, the last set we have is the 75315 Imperial Light Cruiser. Um, this set has 1,336 pieces, 10 and up, um, $160 US or $200 US, or Canadian, I mean. Um, it's, it looks alright. Um, the interior is fine. You get, uh, a Dark Trooper. He looks pretty cool. Moff Gideon's kind of disappointing. But Dark Saber just isn't that cool looking. We have Finnish, Fennec Shand, which is very awesome. We have Cara Dune, which I believe is the same. We have Grogu and then Mando. The ship, I think it's alright. You get still, like too many TIE Fighters that you can launch out of it. You can use the bridge as a holding handle. The interior is pretty nice. Got a, you get a little table and stuff. Um, and yeah, I feel like this is a pretty nice one. Definitely going to be getting this one. Um, and yeah, those are the three Mandalorian sets. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and stay tuned for more videos to come. I'm Padawan Bricks. Have a good day.